Are you a fountain pen newbie? Does your favourite pen need servicing? Are you having problems disassembling that pen? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, then you need Pen Sulk, a pen cleaning solution I've developed for fountain pen repairs. Pen Sulk. Pen Sulk is moisture free, non corrosive, removes dried, stubborn ink, cleans and protects, removes rust. Pen Sulk, not available at a store near you. Hi guys, Steph here. Now, the reason for this video is nice and simple. To soak or not to soak, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortunes, or, no sorry, that's, that's a, a different video, that's my Shakespeare video. But seriously, um, yeah, the video is nice and simply to soak or not to soak. Personally, if you can avoid it, I say don't soak. But obviously you need to clean your pen out somehow. And this is aimed at them people, the newbies that have just found a pen, they, looked at, they want to service it themselves. And I receive lots of messages from people saying, um, Oh Steph, I, I found this a notto of my grandfather's, I tried to service it, I couldn't take the plunger knob off so I put it in hot water and I soaked it and then when I, when I took it out it was a horrible greenish brown colour. What happened? Well, nice and simple, it discoloured. When you're actually soaking pens Take a look at your pen, understand what your pen's made out of, um, just try and understand a little bit because black hard rubber does not like water. If you, if you soak black hard rubber then it will discolour, it will turn an olive brownie colour and it will ruin your pen. Um, another material that's made by, in vintage pens, made by Conway Stewart is a, is a material called casein. Now, if you put casing in water, what will happen, it will actually, literally sort of dissolve, it will warp, it will misshape and everything. If you put a casing pen in water, you will ruin it, full stop. So, when it comes to soaking pens, I mean, for me personally, when I'm actually removing a, set, um, a feed and a nib from, say, a section, I generally wrap the section in um, electrical insulating tape and then I pop it into my ultrasonic cleaner to clean all the insides out. So I give it a little bit of protection, as I say, I wrap it with this tape. Um, also, just things like, you know, we get lever pens. Now, lever pens have a, um, a metal ring inside. If you soak your pen, that will rust. Majority of pens have a lever bar inside. If you soak your pen, they will rust. So, you've got to be very careful. If you can help it, do not soak pens. As I say, there's certain materials that, if you put it in water, they will react. Again, they'll discolour, um, the casing will misshape, it'll literally dissolve in water. So, it's just a very brief video, just to advise newbies, don't soak pens. Um, if you're not sure what you're doing, ask for advice first. Don't simply, like this gentleman with the Anotto pen, he said, I popped it in hot water, and when I pulled it out, it discoloured, it was a horrible brownie colour, because yes, that's what will happen. It will discolour it. Um, so that's hard rubber and as I say casing is a totally different matter. So just be a bit careful if you're going to be looking to service your pen and you're looking to clean it. Be careful, understand the pen and if you don't understand the pen, simple, ask questions. There's lots of people out there that will help you with it. So. I hope this brief advice was helpful to you people um, and just for now, I'll see you later. That's half for now.
Oh, I tell you what, it's still quite hot, isn't it? Whoops, a daisy. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it's cloudy, but it's hot, and I tell you what, makes me really flipping thirsty. I don't know about you, flipping heck. Yeah, I'm flipping. Oh, wrong one. Oh, flipping it. Pen soak tastes horrible. Oh dear. What, you're still running? Well, cut it. Cut it. 